Hi everyone, this is Tamur. Welcome to my channel, The Cloud Security Guy, where we talk on a weekly basis about you know stuff like cloud security, artificial intelligence risks, and general uh, cyber security advice. Apologies if it's a bit dark here. I think it's, the sun is about to set, and I don't have any light here right now. So apologies if I'm in a bit looking a bit dark right now. Uh, but today I want to talk about a very important topic, which is how to get the CA CCSK certification. You know, a, a few weeks back, I made a post talking about cloud security certifications and the pros and cons for each and the platform agnostic certifications like the CCSK. So I thought it would be a good idea to take one certification and focus on that uh, for this video. Uh, before we move ahead, guys, please do subs like and subscribe to this channel. It will really help the channel to grow and it will really help the video to reach as many people as possible also. So if you remember, we talked about last time like these are different sort of certifications what are the pros and cons for each and i did mention that certification are a great way to get your foot in the door but they are no substitute for actual experience but they are very much useful and we talked about the different types of certifications are there and i mentioned about the platform agnostic ones like the ccsk and the ccsp i'll i'll put a link to that video if you want to take a look at that but the purpose of this video is how to get the ccsk certification so let's take a look, step back guys and look at it. So the CCSK, uh, which is the Certificate of Cloud Security Knowledge. Okay, uh, first of all, is it worth, get, worth getting certified? Is it worth getting the CCSK certification? The answer would be yes, absolutely. The CCSK is widely known, very well respected throughout the industry. It's a great cert for getting your foot into the cloud security door. And if you look at the top certifications to get for 2021, 2022, usually it shows up. So you can't get, you cannot go wrong with CCSK if you, cloud security is something you are, you are serious about. So it's offered by the Cloud Security Alliance and it's, it gives you a great overview of the cloud security concepts, you know, like, like cloud architecture, identity access management. So just a few key points you need to know. It's, it's a 90 minute exam. It gives you around 60 multiple choice questions and 80 is the passing score. Like the passing score is quite high. It costs around $395 as of right now, okay? So, uh, and just, uh, it basically, it's a platform agnostic one. So it doesn't focus on any specific platform. So what are the key areas that you need to know? These are these ones. So you need to know managing cloud security risk, the infrastructure security, the com fundamentals of cloud computing, you know, the type of cloud computing models that are there, data security and application security, identity access management, and the cloud security operations. Uh, there is no magic bullet, guys. You need to know these points inside out and you really need to have a very strong understanding of these cloud concepts. The CCSK is a foundational exam, but it's not easy. So don't underestimate it and know these things inside out. How would you know these things inside out? Okay, so these are the three documents you need to know. So the first thing you should do is to go to the CCSK website and download the CCSK prep kit, which, and the best thing about that, that's absolutely free. Unlike a lot of other exams, which gives you like a, you have to buy it separately. The prep kit is completely free. The material is free. And so basically it, and it tests your knowledge with these three documents, which is the security guidance, the cloud controls matrix and the recommendations from ENISA. Okay. So you need to know these three documents with the, you'll get these with the prep kit also. So know these inside out. How do you focus? Like how do you prioritize? Which should you take a look at? Well, the good thing is it tells you so the question breakdown, 87% of the questions are based on the CSA guidance, okay? So you need to know that inside out if you want to pass the exam. The 7% are from the CCM, which is the cloud, uh, this one, the cloud controls metrics, I believe, yeah, the cloud controls metrics. And the other one is from the NISA report. So you need to know these exams inside out, uh, what do you call, uh, fully understand, like the, especially the first one, which is the CSA guidance, you need to know that Definitely, because most of the questions will be coming from there only. And don't just read the document like in a very dry manner, really engage with it. So there are a few good options available. You have trainings from Udemy. I would recommend like you could just go and put the CCSK. You'll find some top rated trainings. there. very good. If you don't want to shell out any money here, even better, you have some very amazing videos already present on YouTube. You can just put CCSK preparation and there are some really good videos completely freely available. So you want to prepare with that. Apart from that, practice. Uh, do not underestimate the CCSK exam, which is I've told you before. Uh, a good, there's some very good free simulators available. I put the link there. You can take a look at that. Or you can go to Viz Labs, which they have also some a very amazing practice test. I would recommend uh, taking one month 
to fully prepare, read the documents, uh, go the training, and do the training and go through these preparation papers. And then you, you'll be in a good stage to give and pass the exam, hopefully. So like I said, guys, before we go, uh, do not forget the golden rule, which is there. And the cloud certification, security certifications are an excellent way to have. And they're a good way to show your expertise, but they're not the end goal. I mean, they will get you foot in the door, but the cloud is an extremely challenging field. And without hands-on experience, you will not go far. So simply having lots of certs will not like uh, really help you out. You need to have get some hands-on experience with AWS, with Azure, with Google Cloud, and that will really take you to the next level. Okay, okay. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it get, gave you a basic idea how to pass the CCSSK certification, how to get it, and let me know if you are, you feel there's some areas I should have covered also. And thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.